that. Oh crap, I'm in a yawn. Classic Mindy. Classic me. Classic me. Hello and good morning, everyone. Today is a special day. It's the day that we... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Know. It's like a combination of the it's happy the... birthday bear and like the getting yeah. ready for Sunday song. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> but guys. guys, mom's not wearing the Oh Hey Vacay shirt. I'm sorry I think she may you. have retired it. It's retired. Also, it doesn't really work when it's snowing outside and 30 degrees. You can't really wear the Oh Hey Vacay t-shirt. Yeah. But we are headed to sunny San Diego Ooh. today. We're supposed to get snow today, so perfect day to leave. <laughs> Peace out, Utah. We're headed to the Sandy White beaches of Southern California, you can have snow here in Utah. We're going to enjoy the beautiful sun in San Diego. We're going to see Madison. She's leaving on her mission. That is the purpose of this trip as we were headed out to see Madison leave on her mission for 18 yes. months. She will be gone, you guys. Inaccessible. We can't really like see her. We can talk to her, FaceTime or things like that, but she will be gone on her mission in the Dominican Republic. That kicks off this weekend. She's going to give her farewell talk in church, shares a message before she officially leaves. And then Sunday night, she'll actually officially be set apart as a missionary starting on Monday. So yes. this is it. The final countdown, you guys. It's going down. We're going to go out there to be part of every minute of it that we can, and then also throw in some fun in San Diego while we're there. It's a beautiful yes. time. It's the kids' fall break. We got some other family members coming as well, so we've yes, got some fun things on tap, things that we want to do. Even some friends are coming. Right now, what we need to do is load up the car, get all the stuff packed in the car. We're gonna to head to the airport a little bit early, hang out with these friends that mom just mentioned at the airport for a little bit, and then before we head out of town, I think we should take one last look at the house, the progress we on the lot. If should we have we time, I say we do it. Just go check in. I heard they finished the digging today. I just oh. want to see it right before we leave. Right before we leave. Yeah. I can't wait. We got the car loaded up. You guys got your carry-ons? Can we do carry-on? Mom carry-on? Rexy carry-on? Hazy carry-on? Right guy. Whoa. Okay. Right guy's carry-on stepped up a level. Right guy's gonna be doing some vlogging on this one, I think. He's got his own camera, got a full GoPro bag of gear. All right, bro. All right, we'll see how that goes. Hazy girl, can you carry your carry-on? No. It's pretty heavy. She really likes to stack hers as full as it possibly is. Do we have time, mom, to run to the lot and see the finished excavation? I think we have a few minutes. A couple minutes. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Came out to the lot. We had time. We made a quick stop and they're done. They're done. I Excavator is the parked. Day. They've completely dug out. In fact, I talked to the guy who was running the track oh, and he actually said he feels really bad. He didn't let me do the first scoop of dirt. So I told him if they call you to come back to dig the swimming pool, I'm your guy for the first scoop of dirt on the swimming pool. Oh, Don't let us cool. forget you guys. That would be very cool to do. He also said as they come back and backfill and move the dirt around, he'd be happy to let me jump in and Woo! give it a try. So cool. that would be pretty cool. But guys, we are done digging, right? Yeah, I mean, this I, is it. I here it is. This is our big old giant hole. Slope over here. It's much deeper than over there. That's what Ragai was just saying. Up. Over here, hardly any digging. Look at the end of that sidewall. Over here, much, much deeper. And then in the back, even more so. It's also really flat. Yeah, very flat. He goes through. It's really cool, actually. I watched the way he did it. He goes and he takes the shovel from the track hoe and he pounds on the top and then he'll set it on the top and then he reads the gauge on his dash. I don't know what he's looking at. It tells him how deep it is. Then he makes sure the whole thing's level, that it's the same depth all the way across. And so it's very precise. This is yeah. insanely cool. Yeah, so guys, here's I'm where so it's going to be. They are going to put it on a pause while we're gone. So they're going to yeah. wait to do the footings and all the other things that they'll do because we want to be able to be here to be part of it to share it with you guys. So this is how it should stay for the next week while we're gone. They are bringing in dirt from another lot over there. In fact, they've been running loads all day today. So all of this fill dirt over here is new. It's going to be used to build this up. So there might be a lot more of that by the time we get back. They're not going to actually fill that in until they get the walls up because they got to have something to push that in against. Yeah. And so really it should be staying pretty much like this while we're gone. And if not, we're going to see how we can tap into that. Ask him today. They'll get us the login. Talk to the guy today. They'll get us the login. So from California, we could check in, see how it's going. Should we hit the road? Go. Yes. Let's do it. They have changed up the parking here at the Salt Lake City Airport. As you guys have seen, they got an entirely new airport. Long-term parking has stayed primarily the same. We had heard from Dan and Shell that there were plans to reduce the number of shuttle stops like almost in half. And our favorite stop, stop zero, like the ultimate stop zero hack is no more. Stop zero is down that way. They removed that as a stop. They removed it as a pickup. So we got to find a new system Dang here. It. But I think we got a pretty good one today because we are parked right here, very near a shuttle stop. And we can just remember to get off at get this shuttle sure. stop. So okay. that's what you always should do. When you get to the airport, take a picture. Never had to do that right? before because we're we always know we're just at stop zero, but that's changing starting today. Brexton, I like your get up here, by the way. I love it. <laughs> We 
We have made it to the airport, what? but we are not alone. There's thousands what? of other travelers. But there's oh also the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These guys are heading off to their gate right now. They're flying to a different airport, so we're not on the same flight. We're a little bummed about that. We've got to get our flight. But guys, we're going to hang out with them tomorrow. Don't tell them where. Don't Wait, we're not going to say where? No. Hey, Can I say where? it's in California? <laughs> yes. So we'll be in California, but we can't tell you where we'll be hanging out. So we're going to be hanging out with the Rebellies tomorrow, all day. I'll tell you this. Epic what? adventure, <laughs> tons of thrills, lots of fun. Lunch. We'll see you guys with them tomorrow. See you guys. See you guys. <laughs> We are boarding the plane on our way to sunny San Diego. It is like 32 degrees outside. It's freezing, if that, it is freezing cold. We got some food, we're ready to hit the skies. When we get there, it will be six o'clock San Diego time, seven o'clock our time. We're probably gonna head straight to the hotel. I don't know if we're in the mood to eat. Dinner. Maybe grab some dinner, because we just have snacks right now. I don't know if we're gonna see Maddie tonight or not. We'll find that out. I know, we'll have to see. Right now, boarding the plane, ready to hit those friendly skies, baby. We have arrived after a fairly short flight. The flight from Utah to San Diego, not too bad. Pretty fast, you barely get a show in, but it's still I think it's with the ascent, and then as you get up, then they do kind of like a snack service, and then it's like, oh, we're beginning our initial descent, and it's like, wait, I thought we just barely did our ascent. So it goes so quickly. Now, we had a little bit of a mix up on the seating assignments oh. because somehow I got kicked out of the family's row. We had all of row 12 until we went and checked in, and then there was one dude in row 12, and so I was stuck by myself. And I was kind of bummed because I really loved those moments with the family where we're on the flight together, yes. we get to hang out it's together. It's one of our favorite things. This is the nicest couple. They were so fun, so cool. They're off building houses for people in Tijuana. That's why they oh, came here man. with a charity group. Like it was rad to hear their stories, to meet them. They actually lived in the same place that we're gonna be moving into, so that was cool too. Anyways, that all aside, we are here now. We have arrived. We are in San Diego. We've got our rental car. It's yes. time to go find our hotel, figure out where we're gonna oh, stay, yeah. where maybe grab a bite to eat. Of course, we always uh, have to eat. And get ready for an epic big time day tomorrow, you guys. I'll give you a quick little teaser hint here. It's something and some place we've never been and something we've never done as a family. What? What? Guys, if it feels like we were just here, it's because we were. Me and mom were here with Maddie going right inside there. Pretty awesome. So pretty. And we're back. Beautiful, beautiful building. First stop after a long day of travel. Just kidding, it wasn't a long day at all. It was very short. But we <laughs> want to grab some food because the kids did go to school today. I don't even know that we had lunch. I don't even know that we ate anything really I today. I had a Panera in the airport because it's the only one we have in Utah. But I had a Biscoff cookie. That's one of my favorite things about Delta. Right now, we're going to hit up Miguel. Miguel's, the Mexican cochina. Dry Guy has a shrimp burrito here. I could not be more proud of this kid right now. Shrimp burrito, I'll take your avocado. There's that piece of shrimp, bro. And I got the surf and turf, you guys. It's carne asada with shrimp, so a little best of both worlds. Mom has a burrito trio over there. It's three mini burritos with different flavors. Hazy Girl, not feeling Mexican tonight, so she got chicken tenders. Oh, is it pretty hot? Sorry. Rex, you did a with some enchiladas, right, buddy? Enchiladas. Enchiladas, love it. Great choice. Here we do it with a very classic beef taco. But I'm dying over how much shrimp is in this burrito, dude. That thing is loaded. I just hope mine is as loaded. That is one big freaking burrito. They call it the epic one pounder. Guys, we just wrapped up a delicious meal at Miguel's. It was super good, and we remembered we'd had it before in San Diego and have not been back, but we talked about it many, many times because it is so good. Now we gotta head to our hotel, check in. It is nine o'clock here, 10 o'clock in our bodies. We gotta get to bed because tomorrow is an epic, epic day. It's gonna require a lot of energy, and we're gonna have to get up pretty early. We gotta get checked into our hotel, grab this vlog up, get into bed. Woo! Just getting checked into our hotel. We're pretty stoked about it. My parents are actually staying here. They're coming as well. And they booked it first. And we said, hey, we're gonna copy and stay where you're staying because we wanna be close together with you guys. So we're checking in right now. It looks pretty dope though. I'm liking it. Dude, here's what I love about this. It's two king beds. Normally you do two queen. I don't know what they're doing here. This place is insanely affordable, but the rooms are ginormous. So we're all staying in one room, which we haven't done in quite a long time, you guys. We've been doing the two room thing for a while. For here, 
This is perfect. It's gonna fit everybody comfortably. The two king beds here, and then you get to walk all the way back through here to like a little living room area where they've got a sofa that pulls out into another bed. That's how we can get everybody in here. Look at this, and then I can edit right here. Guys, this is going to work for our needs. This reminds me of the hotel we stayed at in Puerto Rico. That's, oh, that's oh kind gosh. of a sad And we got memory. in at like 4 a.m. That's a painful memory for me. That was <laughs> Sorry. Painful. That was hard. This place is going to be absolutely perfect. We're going to be here for the next like six days. I feel like this is awesome. I'm going to get the kids unpacked, put okay. some stuff away. Deal. This place has I got everything that we need to get moved in here to be hanging out for this next week. They're going to be here with Maddie. We're going to be hanging out in San Diego. We've got some really fun plans for tomorrow. Yes. So make sure you come back and be hanging with the Ravellis. We got Dan and Shell coming inbound. We got Mon and Papa coming. There's going to be so much fun yet to come. And this is just the beginning, the kickoff. We're super stoked to have this fun room together as a family. Haven't done this in a while. So I think it's going to be fun creating some memories. This is a cool place. Sharing with you guys. So make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button come back every single day we especially tomorrow you guys we love you so much we'll see you all tomorrow. good night everybody Madison! oh my god <laughs> rock it off everyone hello and good morning wait we got Maddie! Maddie! <laughs> it seems like we haven't been that long without seeing you because we were with you in New York like last week We, we came out here to San Diego the week before that saying goodbye to you extremely famous. We don't need to think about but it But right guys now. this <laughs> one's the big one guys we're gonna be hanging out this week and by the end of this week It's gonna be oh baby uh, <laughs> <laughs> By the time we leave this one, she's leaving us for 18 months. We're not going to talk about it or think about it. We have a lot of fun yet to come before we get to that point yeah. in this venture. But right now, Maddie's here with us. We're, so we're hanging excited. out. You guys still know what we're doing today. It's going to be insane. It's going to be epic. It's going to be something we've never done together as a family. Woo! Maddie's never been. These kids have never been. It's going to be there. unreal. You've been there. I've been there. But when it was haunted. Oh my gosh. Oh. Are you guys getting enough little teasers? This is getting there? so scary. It's getting pretty weird, pretty sketchy. But let's go grab our stuff, load up the car. Let's get ahead. Oh, have you had breakfast? Yeah. Okay, then let's you head out. not telling me the truth. <laughs> Not kidding, it's gonna be way fun today. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> so very excited for today. <laughs> oh, very, that's so good, that's so very good. It's not very good. Not very good. <laughs> Sweetie, are those berries or are those Knott's berries? What do you? Oh, they're Knott's berries. They're not. That was not very funny. <laughs> we are off on an adventure. We've loaded up in the expedition, going on an expedition. I don't know where we're going, but I know it's not gonna be very lame. It's gonna be very, very awesome. <laughs> So we have arrived, and I'm telling you right now, this is not gonna be lame. It's gonna be very, very no, cool. Really not. Did anybody put it together through all of our puns throughout you our guys, life? We came to Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Berry Farm. We've never been here, you guys. This is our first time ever. Now, mom and I have been here once. We came out to visit Forever Maddie. Ever ago, when, when Maddie was, little, was little, little, just little. like maybe three or four. And we came to the Knott's Scary Farm. So we came to the Haunted Park. Guys, they're doing that tonight. We don't know. We might stick around. We might do a double dose of Knott's Berry Farm for the yes. regular amusement park and the scary thing tonight. But for right now, we're hitting up some of the most epic roller coasters you guys we are so excited and you guys this came together very very last minute uh, on the ride to the airport i bought the tickets online <laughs> yes for those of you that don't know my best friend stephanie her grandpa is charles schultz the creator of snoopy so this is like snoopy land this is snoopy her. land this is like their home their mecca so they're actually in the peanuts store right now yes. so we're gonna go meet them in there and then we're going to tear this place apart you guys every roller coaster every ride every epic thrill ride and i probably think we're gonna get a heavy dose of snoopy as well i think so First ride of the day happened to be right by Camp Snoopy. It's right inside the entrance. It's called Sidewinder. Sidewinder. It reminds me visually of the spider at Lagoon where you kind of rotate as I you go around a roller coaster. It. One of mom's faves. We've never yeah. done some of these rides before. The family's never done them together. So this is yeah. our first one. This is our first one. We just time. found out they have a roller coaster that goes 82 miles an hour. It's called the Accelerator. That would be the fastest roller coaster any of us have ever been on. Yeah, that's cool and intense. That's coming up later today. Me and you on this one first, and that's cool oh, yeah. and all, but we are saving our savagery for Accelerator, bro. Woo! That one looks so dope. And then also, the one where you have to have your feet dangle. That one looks pretty intense, bro. That's like the bad at Lagoon, except like actually dope. Like a dope roller coaster. Yeah, I'm so excited for the accelerator. That's probably going to be the one that I do a time. I say we do that like three times today. Yeah. Three times. This is a little bit more inverted than I realized it was going to be, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the kiddie ride they advertised it to be. Okay, you ready, bro? I'm ready. Ready? Full send in three, two, oh boy, one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Groovy. How are you? 
you guys right there? So what the heck? Yeah. That yeah. was so epic. Holy crap. That's yeah. ride one and I lost my voice, bro. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look, we're doing that like five Woo. times. Woo. I'm ready to do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Walking through the heart of coaster country right here. They are surrounding us on every side. We just came off the Sidewinder and it was infinitely cooler than I, I ever realized it would be. I wanna go again right now. <laughs> AZ loved it. It is so fast. It spins you in circles. There's all kinds of G-forces. Mom said it's one of her favorite rides she's oh, ever been on. That was the coolest stroller coaster. That's ride one. I lost my voice, ride one. I don't know where we go from here, but we're gonna go to the up. Ghost Rider. Ginormous wooden roller coaster. I'm talking like old school, but huge and epic. This one's gonna be fun, fast, and something that everyone can and do. And Furious, Mom? Fast oh. and Furious. Can we do? Are you loving this, bro? Because you oh are a little God. adrenaline junkie where enough is never enough when it comes to the adrenaline. But for that first ride of the day, I think that was a pretty good start. I already lost my voice. And that's one of the weaker rides, bro. That's like one of the weaker ones they yeah. have. They've got silver bullet where you hang, you dangle your feet, you go into like this G-force spin. Like two loops. The one that we're just gonna tackle right now is called Ghost Rider. I oh, yeah. swear I've seen this in movies. I've gotta look it up. It's a huge, massive wooden coaster. Giant. I've heard it's smooth though, because I don't usually love wooden coasters because they're not that smooth. But I've heard this one's a little bit smoother. But it is massive, you guys, and it I don't feel like it's very crowded today. I think we might get lucky and get on a ton of rides we without went waiting on a lot of lines. Straight onto that one ride, and it was the best ride, so we'll have to do it a ton more. Let's go, dude. Okay, this is. Oh, jeez, dude, it's not haunted right now. But later tonight, it will be haunted. Rolling, we're rolling. Ghost Rider. Oh my gosh, this thing is massive. Okay. Back here we got Micah, his buddy, Rai Guy back there. Are we ready to send it on the Ghost Rider? Woo! We're still going, bro. We got a long way to the top. Look, all goes clear over there. This thing is huge. Look how far over there it goes. You guys, look behind us. We're going on every single one of those today. We are not missing a single ride. Here we go. Oh, my God. And we have no voices left at all. That ending part where it just, I felt like the cart was coming off. It just kept spinning in the same circle. Oh my gosh. That's maybe one of the longest rides I've ever been on. I like just kept going and going. Just got off of the Ghost Rider, bro. How freaking insane Holy was that? Holy crap, I lost my voice. <laughs> Guys, there's no way we're gonna be able to talk at the end of this. It's a good thing we don't need to talk for any other reason. That one, super, super fast, crazy long. It's like a two minute, 40 second coaster. So many drops. So many turns and drops. Like it is high adrenaline, high speed the entire time. I noticed this, dude. Most roller coasters have a moment where you kind of slow down and pause. It's almost like they hit the brakes and then you get going again. That one was nonstop the entire time. There were no slowdown spots in the entire ride. It was just crazy. So because the other kids, Leah was a little bit too short for that one, so Hazy went off with her mom and Stephanie. We're gonna try and do something that everybody can do. And I think next after that, we wanna either hit the silver bullet or the accelerator. Woo! Place. Anytime I have got roller coasters spinning all over and around my head, that is my happy place. So we have got together with the family again, and we're gonna go on the Jaguar right now. It's the Jaguar roller coaster. You better tuck that away, Mindy. We're on we a roller coaster right now. 
together. Oh, cute. We never get to do rides together. Yay. Yay. Actually, the last one we did was Seven Doors in Disney World, and we kissed each other at the top of the ride for our 13th on anniversary. Our anniversary. On our 13th anniversary. Was that the last ride we did that together? That was the last kiss. No, wait, what? Ha. Girls are right there. We have the rest of the group clear, clear back there. This one's gonna be. I'm thinking not very thrilling because they told me I can just hold the camera and my backpack and anything I want. So I'm guessing it's not that big of a thrill ride, but everyone can go on it, and that's the big win. Everyone but Leah, because she's not tall enough. Leah, yeah. we need to get you some like lifts in your shoes. We need to get her some like yeah. little platforms. Hey, hazy girl, are you ready? See, that one not quite as thrilling as maybe we were expecting, but it was good. It was fun. It is on the kiddie side of the park. It you know, was really so, shaky. But it was fun. It was very shaky. Yeah, there's some big ones I want to Yeah, do. as we were going through, though, I could see some of these insane ones. I think it's time to step up the adrenaline a little bit, maybe go hit up the accelerator or the silver bullet. I think those are up very soon. That's a good idea. the one that we've been waiting for. There are two that we really want to nail here. The silver bullet and the X, what's it called? Accelerator. Accelerator, it's called the excavator. But guys, this is the silver bullet. Feet dangling, upside down, G-force turns. This is one of the most insane roller coasters we will have ever been on, and I think it's going down now. Oh, oh yeah. gosh. I don't know what the deal is with today. We got a guy with us today who's got a season pass, comes here pretty regularly. He says some of these rides we're going on are normally three hour waits, hour and a half, two hour waits. We are walking straight on to every epic ride. We are walking right onto them. Hot like dog. today Let's is the day do to go. This. Right guy, bro. Here we go, Micah, you ready, dude? <laughs> we have got our feet dangling. We are going through all of that twisting, winding metal over there. We're doing loops, corkscrews. Pretty far to the back, too, so we should be going uh, And we're gonna be going really fast because we are almost in the back. Dude, we're going down that over there. And that's coming up later today, guys. Accelerator. That thing is, you're doing that, Micah. Okay, wait, when do we go? When do we go, right guy, you ready? Am I ready? Wait, 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 wait. We are dangling. at the end, dude. That was the biggest headache maker I've ever been on. That was freaking epic, dude. I think my shoulder ripped again the whole this. That hurt so bad. That was freaking dope. Though. That was actually The G's at the end were unnecessary. Absolutely unnecessary. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so insane we just did that. Dude, oh yeah, front on that would be insane. You can't see anything because you've just got a seat right in front of you. But dude, I'm like wobbly going down these stairs right now. Like my legs are wobbly. I'm dizzy, headache. I think it's the G spin at the end. So you do like all these loops, these corkscrews, but at the very finish, you just do this hard loop where it's just pushing you down into your seat. Gnarly finish. Checking in with our adrenaline junkie crew, bro. We just got off the Silver Bullet, one of the coolest roller coasters you've probably ever been on. What did you think of it, dude? I loved it, except for like, you don't know where you're going and like everything's moving so fast. You don't have a concept of where you are. You know what that tells me, bro? We need to do it again and wait for front row. Oh, yeah. You yes. want front row that thing, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Slowing things down a little bit in between <laughs> epic thrill rides. Having a little it's something to awesome. eat. I don't know if this is the best idea right before going on some big time coasters, yeah. but this is a pizza burger, you guys. The bun is a pizza. Two small pizzas with a cheeseburger in the middle. It is so good. So good, Raggy. How's the cheeseburger pizza, bro? Honestly, I don't know who came up with this. They ain't need a race. Look at that. That is cheeseburger with so two good. pizzas. Two small pizzas as your buns. That looks so good. So, of course, I saw that and could not pass it up. One of the greatest food like inventions I've ever seen. Adam got the chorizo pizza. Mom and Maddie got just regular pizza, it looks like. And French With a side salad. So while we let the uh, pizza cheeseburger settle, cheeseburger pizza, whatever you want to call that, we're going to chill out a little bit, take it a little bit easier. We're going to go on the log ride. It's fully Halloween themed right now, which is a lot of fun. It's kind of fun seeing.
seeing that throughout the park. Oh my gosh, I just saw the accelerator go over that arch, bro. Oh. What we've decided to do is kind of take it easy right now, hit that log ride, maybe a couple other rides with the kids, and then I think we're gonna go on the accelerator at least once in the daytime. But you guys, this just happened right now. Just got on my phone, it's going down tonight. We are coming back for Not Scary Farm. Oh gosh. <laughs> Ryler's first ever haunted houses, first ever haunted experience of any kind. So these thrill rides haunted tonight. Oh not Scary Farm going down. So we might chill out a little bit through the rest of the day, do some of the stuff that the kids like because they're not coming back. It's just me, Maddie, Rye Guy, and they're crew. Not coming they're back. not coming back. We're gonna have a very scary time. On the log ride, it's just me and mom. Look, the Woo! entire front seat is completely empty. It's just the two of us. It's we asked him which seat does not get wet. He said there is no seat that does not get wet, you guys. I hate being wet. I don't want to be wet on the music park. I'm gonna be holding this camera up, hoping that it doesn't get wet. <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, that's the big wave. That's the one that gets you, it's the second wave. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, you guys, pretty good. I think I kept this camera out and dry. We just came from there, not too bad, you guys. That one, not too bad. The reason I did not want to get wet is because I will be here tonight for a long time with the sun down. There is no drying off if you get soaking wet right now. Log ride was a nice little warm up as we come back into action after lunch. Now we're doing Coast Rider, is what it's called. Another little warm up, another little, I don't know, we're appetizer, if you will. the food settle just a little before we get ready for the The big idea boys. is that we hit the accelerator. I don't know, I think I'm hitting the brake right the now. The extreme <laughs> accelerator. I think maybe after this, you guys. We're all just looking at it. Everyone saw it. They're standing looking at it in awe. I think some are having second guesses. Some are thinking maybe they're not going to do it. Where there's some bribing going on. 10 bucks here and there. But in the end, we'll see who ends up on that one. But it'll be the fastest roller coaster I think we've ever been on. The it goes 82 miles an I hour. Know. And that's zero to 82. It starts from a dead stop and then launches you up and over the loop. I don't know about this. One last little mini ride before we head over there. Here it is, the moment we've been waiting for, the accelerator. This is going to be the fastest, most insane roller coaster we've ever been on. There it goes, oh my gosh, did you just see that? Zero to 82, 205 feet in the air, and Brex is going on it, crew is going on it, Rye Guy going on it. Both Not women's go going on it. Are you gonna go on it? No, Stephanie. No. Why? It's Stephanie, the old woman. Bye. <laughs> I love you guys. Guys, are you ready for the thrill of your life? I don't know. Oh yeah, bye. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you okay? Stay head back, head back, head back, head back. Oh my god. I'm freaking out. Here we go. See you in 22. 22 seconds, guys. <laughs> That, dude. Crazy, <laughs> you rock that baby. Rex, how was it? Fun. Yeah. He had his arms up. This kid is yeah. insane. Brexin. This is my face. <laughs> Maddie says you were like shaking, dude, but like out of like yeah. excitement. Like, <laughs> Mine was. Oh, we got Brexy in slow motion, face peeled back. at 82 miles an hour climbing 205 feet. It is so amazing. That. Maddie, what did you think? Oh, that was like crazy fast. <laughs> like, was... I've never experienced anything like that I don't like think I've been on a, on a roller coaster that accelerates that fast yeah, in my life. I've been on some blast off <laughs> roller coasters, but that was next <laughs> that level. Was next level. <laughs> Woo! 
we've got time for one more ride before they close this park down. They're closing down in literally 30 minutes. We have not hit Montezuma's Revenge yet. I hope it's not the same thing you get when you drink the water in Cancun. Nonetheless, it should be a lot of fun. I have no voice left, and we're coming back in two hours for the Not Scary Farm to do it all over again, haunted it's style. It's gonna be so cool. Oh, there it is right there, backwards through the loop, you guys. I don't think I knew this was when I said I was gonna do it, but this is the last ride of the day. Let's have go. Fun. We are wrapping up our time here at Knott's Berry Farm. It was Ran so it much. hard. It just it closed was down. So much fun. It was seriously like top <laughs> to bottom. We were just running it so hard. Every single ride, every With thrill ride they have. I so think we crazy. feel every single one. Like I was the grandma of the trip because I didn't do very much. Mom I feel got old. nauseous watching kids on a kitty ride, guys. That's where she's at in life right now. It's okay. Wow. It's okay. She's doing her best, and that's enough, guys. We still have so much more fun to come. We are only tying off and wrapping up this portion of the day because me, Ryler, Maddie, Ooh, and crew wow. are coming back for Knott's. Scary farm tonight. It's the entire park haunted. I hear they hire like an extra 1,400 workers just to scare the heck out of you. Yes. They haunt some of the rides. They put in haunted houses, the whole bit. It is next sure level. Mom and I did this years and years ago. It's one of my and like, it favorite is memories. So fun. And if you guys know, Maddie and I, we love the scary movies, the scary everything. So it's scary. a perfect send off for her before she leaves for a while. Little daddy daughter fun. <laughs> Bringing in Rye Guy. Scooby Doo. See if they can handle that. I don't know that. what's going to happen. I'm just going to go. I kind of want to go. I kind of wish you could, Hazy Girl, but I think you're going to hang out with yeah. Leah, right? <laughs> I think. I think you like to just look at yourself, those big, beautiful blue eyes. Who doesn't like to look at that? I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I'm gonna actually go sit in the car and edit for a little bit before. Yeah. They shut down the park for like two hours. They reopened it for the Not Scary Farm. So they're bringing in all the workers. They're setting up all the haunted houses and all this stuff. Yes. So in two hours, we'll be back here. Not I'm Scary so Farm, baby. So yes, yeah. I'm so excited. Let's go. Woo! As you can see, we are now in not scary farm. It looks a little bit different than it did earlier today, guys. No kids in this one, but I do have my kids. I got Maddie, I got crew, I got guys. We are going in what they call one of the best haunted houses here. This guy's gonna come over here. Shoot, he's coming over here now. Sarah. Sarah. Crew. Sarah. Oh my god. Sarah Converted this thing into a full on theme park. We just walked through like, I don't know, death crazy scary row. It was filled with steam. We you couldn't see a see thing. Anything. They jump out and scare you all over the zero. Like over a thousand right workers there. are just here to scare you. We go through our first one of those. Like 2,000. 2,000 yeah. is here, you guys. You can't tell who's here to scare and who's here to walk. Seriously, I don't trust anyone. <laughs> That's a good rule for tonight. Trust no one. <laughs> Going through Ryler's first ever haunted house right now. Crew's first ever, too. Maddie, yeah. she's a savvy vet at this. No I've been doing this for a long time. I'm a new. <laughs> they told us it's one of the best ones at the entire theme park tonight, and it's only a 10 to 15 minute wait, bro. Are you yeah, ready for this? Up. First oh. one ever, bro. Are you ready? He's back. Yeah. Haunted house of your life, how was it, dude? That was pretty good. Yo, I love that one so much. People like are around the corners you never even know, and then they just jump out and scare you. And some people are, oh, it's amazing. I love it so much. Paranormal <laughs> 8, you are standing by the Hayden Sanitarium. Woo!
guys, I have no voice whatsoever. I just want to go say goodnight, and it's just like. Oh. I know we're gonna need a rest day tomorrow. Yes, recovery Sounds day tomorrow. Like they all had a ton of fun. So Hazy and Brex fun. actually fell asleep in Steph's hotel room, <laughs> which was so nice of them to allow them to use that while we were in there, guys. For your first haunted experience ever, first haunted houses ever, how was it? Oh Amazing. my gosh, it was awesome. incredible! It was so fun. Ever. Honestly, <laughs> Maddie absolutely loved it. That yeah, is kind of our so jam. We loved it. Some <laughs> of our favorite stuff was just walking like the haunted areas with all of the mist and the lights and stuff. We did a few haunted houses. It's so we cool. We actually finished the night by doing an accelerator one more time. Oh. That's how we did a send off list. But guys, this has been an amazing day. Incredible. It's been a fun, random, sporadic, spontaneous thing to do. I'm last so minute. glad we decided to do it. It oh, was the sure. perfect way to spend today. But like mom said, tomorrow, a little bit of rest, recovery, recuperation, lots more fun to come. We got more family coming in town. We got Maddie sending her off on her mission. So many more things. So it. stick around, subscribe, stay tuned. We love you guys. We love you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs>、oh, good morning. What up? Welcome into another vlog. I have a little bit of a voice this morning after yesterday's insane, epic day at Knott's Berry and Knott's Scary Farm. <laughs> If you have not seen that vlog, do yourself a favor. Go check it out. One of the best ones we've ever put together. Also, one of the most fun days we've ever had on vacation. Tearing up all of the thrilling roller coaster rides. Oh, but these boys are ready to get in the pool to start off this day. We are <laughs> right outside of our window. This is our room right here. So we sit and stare at this pool all day. And all the kids want to do is go swimming. And today is going to be the hottest day that we are here in the high 80s today, I believe. So we thought, what better than to get out here at the pool very first thing? Kuri, are you jumping in or no? It's so cold. <laughs> After sending it all day yesterday, I'm gonna send it here in the pool. Start this morning off right. Kirby, three, two, oh, <laughs> one. Gosh. <laughs> right, guy, bro, you got some Delta cookies over there? Yeah. Little Biscoff life. The best. The best. Hazy somehow learned how to swim in the last few trips that we've had. I don't know when she learned to swim so well. She jumped right in at five feet and I panicked. Her head popped up. She swam off to this edge and she goes, No, I can swim now, remember? Who did you say taught you? Um, my friend. Mom, we were on a trip. A girl wanted to play with me. So I played Oh, with her. I think that was California, but at a different yeah. hotel, right? When we came out here from Eddie's? Yeah, Maddie's? and then we, remember with that big ship? She was playing with me. Oh, that's Disney World. And she, no, not, sorry, not the big ship. Um, she learned, she helped me how to swim. And now all of a sudden you're a champion swimmer. I love it. I love it. Every one of you guys have learned how to swim somewhere on vacation. Speaking of the last time that we were here in California, when Maddie opened her mission call where she found out that she would be serving in the Dominican Republic, we have decided to put together the full length movie of that trip. That was a coast to coast trip that started here in San Diego, ended in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We were on vacation for a full week of fun in the sun, coast to coast, both sides of the United States. We thought it would be perfect as she's being set apart as a missionary and giving her farewell talk on Sunday to upload that as the bonus video on Sunday. So, what is today? Friday. So that is the video that you will be seeing come out tomorrow on YouTube at our normal time, noon mountain time. It will be the full length movie of our trip to Florida that started with Maddie getting her mission call. It kind of felt like an appropriate thing on this vacation. That way also on Sunday, we won't be vlogging a lot of that as we will be with Maddie in church and in different meetings and different settings where it wouldn't really be appropriate to vlog. We can still bring you some epic content while on vacation. So check that out. Make sure you watch that and just wanted to give you guys an early heads up that that's coming. For right now, you guys, we're just gonna have a lot of fun here at the pool. Mom is off getting some supplies for that farewell for that party that's going down on Ready? Sunday. So she is off at the store getting some things at Costco, Get party supply ready? store. Family is on their way into town. We're just going to have some fun starting off the day here in the sun, San Diego, hottest day that we're going to be here this weekend at the pool. And then go straight in the freezing cold pool. Three. But we cannot get out. Two. Yeah, we can't get out. Three, right, two, one.
your whole day was not complete just to turn off kind of like wrecked a soft everyone's falling day. down in your shoe without hearing me say wow. <laughs> good morning. I kind of wrecked everyone's day, but mom has brought us back up. The energy is back up. Sweet goodness is back up. It's a here. And it's with mom it. back, it could only mean one thing. We're gonna go eat. Wow. If I think of mom, I think of eating. Because I cook so well. Because of her amazing cooking. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, I knew that's what and you And with meant. these sunglasses on, you cannot see me winking. We actually are gonna go grab some lunch at one of our favorites here in San Diego, Board and Brew Sandwiches. We had it like a while back we with Dan and Michelle. We had it like probably three years ago with Daniel and Michelle. Loved Could it. Could not get it off my brain, but I was like, I don't even know what this place was called. Came back, had it with Maddie. Last time we were here. We are gonna go have it again. We love it that much. So, we hitting Carlsbad, Board and Brew, sandwiches, lunch. My parents, by the way, coming into town, staying right here. I was asking Mindy, I was like, so where are we gonna meet up with them? We'll meet them in the lobby. They're staying here. The plan is we're gonna try and find a dope restaurant tonight, maybe on the beach somewhere where you can see the sunset into the water. Hoping some combination of dinner and ocean sunset. A few texts. See, we'll see what there is. But for now, headed off to Board and Brew sandwiches. My favorite. And awaiting the arrival of Mon and Papa. We are here together now and they are inside this great restaurant. As you can see, the sun's setting just behind the camera, yes. dipping into the ocean. Now we don't have a view of it because it's just off from the ocean. We're gonna go finish off our night over there, but just like we wanted, we're gonna do a little bit of dinner, a little bit of sunset with them. They're inside with the kids right now. We're actually surprised they're able to see this immediately tonight. Yes, the restaurant's so pretty. You can feel the ocean breeze going on here. It's starting to get a little chilly at night as the sun goes down. It's, it's right here perfect. in the harbor Carlsbad. We've got some palm trees all around us. We've got a golden sunset right there. We've got Mana and Papa in the restaurant right now. They're holding down the floor with the kids. So let's go in and join them. All right, Kubidu, meal served, bro. What did you get? So I just got a classic butter noodles. You know, what kind of plain. pasta is that? What is that? It's like a spirally. Rigatoni. Rigatoni? Is it really? Yeah. And then I added some Parmesan cheese on top, and it's super good. I love it, dude. That's perfect. I got Alfredo mm. with some Parmesan. Alfredo and Parmesan. Ragai, what about you, buddy? What do you got over there? Cheese pizza. On and Papa, what did you guys get? I got spaghetti carbonara. Ooh. Mom, I know what you um, got. Cause... We got one of three. Yeah. <laughs> chicken Parmesan's with angel hair pasta. That seems to be <laughs> three chicken Parmesan's here the table we got one two mom makes three and hazy girl finishing us off with the classic cheese pizza cheese pizza It was just calling our name from the window at our dinner just now. We saw through the window the sun setting into the ocean, the whole sky lighting up orange, and it is like a stone's throw away from where we were eating dinner. So I grabbed a couple of the kids while we waited for the check to come, ran down here. The kids could experience the sunset in the ocean. Look at this gorgeous golden orange glow. Kids are out here, feet in the sand, finishing off this gorgeous night in sunny San Diego as the sun dips into the ocean for today. Got to do a few more of these before we leave, guys. It is pretty hard to beat an ocean sunset. That sunset was so magical, so incredible. We actually had a random beachgoer bystander, someone who was just watching the sunset, snap pictures behind it. She said the silhouette was just too incredible. The sunset was just too magical. I saw this family having fun. I hope you don't mind. I took some pictures. Can I airdrop them to you? So guys, I'm gonna throw some of those in here. They look like pieces of art cool. that you could hang on the wall. Yeah. Like that's the level of amazing that that picture is. So very nice for her to do that. So cute. It was one of those that time stood still. The kids are tiny. Brandon's videoing them. Darling. Kind of fun when somebody just standing by capture the moment just like it is as it's happening when you don't know that someone's capturing it. Very authentic. Very natural, very real. That was nice. And I was very grateful for her to do see. that. She came over, airdropped the pics to us. Probably gonna post them on our Instagram as well at the Sarah yeah, Bingham. Make sure you guys cute. are following there. Make sure you guys check that out. Mon and Papa want to go catch a little bit of that glow before it's I know, gone. It's really yeah. So pretty. we're gonna go stare at that beautiful orange oh. dip into the ocean. Then I think we should probably get some dessert. I think I'm just time for some uh, I think there's ice a cream, maybe gelato, yes. froyo. I don't know. We're our hotel get some does stuff. offer cookies and milk. Cookies at and night. milk every oh. night. Or PB and J milk. PB and J and milk. One of those two. Or both. I can do both.
Just soaked in one of the most gorgeous sunsets I've ever seen. But we have to get back to the hotel because there's one thing that dad has been waiting for since we got here. It is his top priority here in San Diego. Yes. What is it, Pop? Cookies and milk. Cookies and milk. Is now, there anything ladies and more? gentlemen in the viewing audience, you know that I am a tubbo. No. I have to dad. keep my strength up. I mean, my weight up. Stop it. So <laughs> Stop it. Not true. He loves his cookies and milk, and so do I. He loves them more than Santa Claus. We're going to go get wait. some cookies and milk. They're provided complimentary at the hotel. They set them out. We didn't get a chance to experience it our first night because they had peanut butter and jellies. We're hoping that maybe we get both tonight. Maybe. So that's our dessert after that gorgeous sunset. Did you like that pop? Was it a good sunset? I loved it. It was beautiful. And you'll notice I'm cool now because I'm wearing my hey, hat like I love my it. son. I love it when we twin like this, right? man. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Look at that. We've got cookies and milk waiting for us in the lobby. That's how we do it here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget your milk, okay? Oh, yeah. Thank you. What do you think, Pop? Do they live up? How are they? These cookies are so good, I want two. <laughs> but the policy is just one, sir. Oh, sorry, just one, sorry. sir. We may be able to make an exception for you, though. I might bribe the kids to give me their cookie. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something that starts with an A. A. An action producer over there. <laughs> <laughs> Herbie. That's good. Um, is it behind me? You look behind me. Is it behind me? Absolute weirdo. Who do you is like? <laughs> Should I say what it is? Yes. Oh dear. My grades. <laughs> Okay, guys, but from one academic scholar to a potential other, Don't call I me do. Dad. No, I wasn't pointing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie witnessed Raga yesterday doing everything he could to try and boost his last A minus, technically, to an A so we could get straight A's. He was doing assignments on the entire drive to Knott's Berry Farm. He was standing in line doing extra credit, turning in extra papers, and emailing his teacher incessantly. I think he sent Pretty four emails we without a response. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too aggressive, but he did all of that. Tell Maddie what you found out this morning. So oh when I was looking at the grades, I was looking at all grading periods and not just first term. So when he filtered by first term, he actually had an A. It never changed. All that stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you already had straight A's, but then he spent the whole day at Knott's Berry Farm doing homework just to make sure he locked down the straight A's. But dude, first straight A's of his entire life, bro. Yeah. That's a pretty big deal, dude. And I just wanted him to tell somebody who's very used to and accustomed to getting straight A's, this straight A BYU academic scholar, she loves being the center of attention. Let's talk more about all of her accomplishments right now on camera. Maddie's also beautiful. Maddie, when was your like first 4-0, would you say? <laughs> So Maddie, do you remember that time? Guys, really she just told us. She's, she's never, never not, not gotten one. That's why, because weighted or whatever, you had a 4.3. Did yeah, I get that I right? Yeah. 4.3. Yeah. So Raga, your first 4.0 of hopefully many. Maddie here has never even experienced anything less than a 4. -0. I mean, I got one B in. Real quick, class. I'm just gonna run to a DNA test because I'm pretty sure we are not actually related <laughs> well, with you know, a four. All my years combined, if you added them all up, you'd get four. Yes. <laughs> All four years of high school added up 4.0. One plus one plus one plus one. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Not true. Mom was very smart. We're going to shut this day down. We have had so much fun taking in the sunset, hanging with Mana and Papa. We've got Maddie and Mana back there. They are going to be saying goodnight to us as well. We're heading off to bed. We are going to be going out doing a kayaking tour in Carlsbad. Yes, in La Jolla. No, La Jolla. In La Jolla. That's right. That's going to be a lot of fun. Go see some sea lions, get out in the ocean. That's going to be, be awesome. a lot of fun. And then, of course, we have Maddie's epic farewell on Sunday. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We took it a little bit easy today. I felt really good. A little day to catch up. Yeah. Tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun, so make sure yeah. you come back. We love you. See you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hello and good morning, everyone. We are on, what is this, day three of our vacation here in California. <clears throat> we are so excited. Today's going to be a really awesome day. We have fun stuff this afternoon, but you guys, to start off today, it's a very special day for a very special someone. Guys, we've got a birthday girl in the house. It is Stephanie's, and she is basically <laughs> family because yeah. kids love Stephanie, like their second mom. We are so excited, you guys. Just to give you an idea of how incredible of a friend she is, she came all the way to California just for Maddie's farewell. She's here, actually, you guys, to yes. see Maddie give her farewell talk. That's why they're here. Still got my my voice gone, guys, from the amusement park day at Knott's Berry Farm. But today we're gonna go to breakfast and celebrate her this morning. Wish her a happy birthday. Hit that like button to say happy birthday, Steph. We're gonna go have some breakfast with them and tell her happy birthday ourselves, and you guys are coming Ooh, with us. Yes! It's the birthday girl! I got this for guys, myself. my voice is still struggling <laughs> yeah. from the other day at Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> like, it's so bad.
Bye. Bye. Happy birthday. Bye. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Celebrating Stephanie's birthday with her here at the Broken Yoke. We had a great breakfast. Nice time celebrating Steph. Just kind of briefly gave her a fun gift and then we're saying goodbye. But guys, it's fun to be on vacation and seeing them every other day because we hung out with them at Knott's Bay Farm here this morning for her birthday. But we'll be with them again tomorrow. They the reason we are all the here farewell. for Maddie's farewell. And I think it's so cool. We've got friends that close actually came from Utah to California to see Maddie and to celebrate her. It's kind of cool. cute. Whenever she found out this was the farewell weekend, she goes, well, is it weird if I invite myself? I want to come. And I said, please come. That would be I would amazing. Never ask that we would of never you. think to invite like friends to come because it's an expense and it's yeah. time away and it's all these other things. But they gladly jumped on board, made a fun trip out yes. of it at Knott's Berry Farm, and also so got to fun. celebrate her birthday here in sunny San Diego. So that's not a bad way to celebrate a birthday. They're heading off to the beach. We might be at the beach later today. Oh, we will be, baby. We will be. Right now, we got to get some stuff ready for tomorrow. We'll be getting together with some family tomorrow, and so we got to get some things for that. Right, guys, we are back at the hotel now. We've got Mon and Papa, as you know, in the house, staying here with us. But what you don't know is we've got some more family in the house. We've got <laughs> Dan and Jill in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I swear my voice eventually will come back. <laughs> Some of you are probably very grateful to see it gone, maybe for good. But Dan and Shell in the house now. Oh, geez, I don't know what to do with my hands. This Where do I stand? Moment. Yeah, sorry. So I did your intro. Now you just stand on stage <laughs> left. Okay, stage left for you, please. Now, Dan and Shell. <laughs> hey, but Daniel has put together the most insane kayaking tour. <laughs> Get out of here. Of the cliffs. The cliffs of La Jolla. We're gonna go see sea lions. The sea lions. Caves, little the caves. Sea lions. You get they a paddle out the through the surf. The Sorry, we're talking over each other. Yeah, that's okay, sure. guys. They're used to that we're on this Tower Bingham. So that <laughs> oh, no, no, no. is perfect. But that's all going down right now. We're packing up our cars. Dad is orbiting the Dan and Shell. <laughs> we'll see you guys we in the sea. We need to get down to La Jolla. Yes, because yes. we gotta go now if we wanna get into our tours. Let's go. You guys load up. You take we'll mine and Papa, please. In the ocean. Oh, can you please see you there. You guys ready for this? We are so excited. We already are. Oh, oh you're going right now. We are getting started. It is serious. We wear helmets on this tour. Did you know we were wearing helmets on this tour, dude? Why are we wearing helmets? Are we gonna do some extreme cliff jumping? Oh, yeah. Double, triple back gainers off of the caves. I think that <laughs> double, triple. What is a double, triple? Dude, Brexy, are you ready? Me and you are in a guy. Okay, we're following. Is it us? Here we go. Doubles, me and you, Brexy, dude. Let's go. All right, we're going right now. The reason we have these helmets on is because you get some insane surf here. So me and Brexy are in a kayak. Brexy, are you ready? Oh my gosh, that water is freezing cold. Here we go. This is us, dude. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Don't freak out Hazy, but that's all sharks right here. Out here on the ocean right now, kayaking over to the cliffs. This isn't Sunset Cliffs, this is just La Jolla Cliffs. I don't know. They've got sea lions out here, they've got so much fun stuff. But the very first thing we saw, the minute, the second we entered the water, were leopard sharks. Leopard sharks swimming right underneath us. They said that when they're pregnant, they rub their bellies against the bottom of the ocean and on the sandy floor. And there was probably, I mean, I saw at least five. Dan and Shell pointed to a pod or a group, whatever you call it. They said they saw like 20, 30 of them. Absolute first thing we saw when we got in here were sharks. So we are kayaking right now with a group of leopard sharks. We're headed over to see some sea lions and go through the caves and cliffs of La Jolla. This is pretty awesome. Hazy girl, you ready? We're gonna go walk out and see some sharks. You wanna go with me? She was gonna go, I'll hold you though. Want me to hold you?
Scooby Doo, dude. We just got done with our kayaking tour. Could we do? How was it? You it can be was honest. So much fun. It was pretty I cool. I love swimming back in and seeing the reef sharks. So, like the kayaking itself, not that insane. We couldn't go into the caves. It's more of like an ecological tour where they explain to you kind of, I don't know, like the history of the area, what's yeah. going on with this stuff. But it was cool. It was informative and it was fun to be out there on the ocean. But the coolest part by far, chilling with those sharks, bro. Yeah. Like we were literally walking around with sharks, kayaking with sharks, hanging with sharks. But these leopard sharks, they were actually really cool looking. We got up close and personal, walked through like paws. I don't know if you call them paws. I should look that up. But that's what dolphins are. Of like five. Five, six, seven of them at a time. That was insane. Yeah, they're so cool when you just get a group of them and you walk up and they'll swim next to you and then like take a hard cut and won't come at you. I was cool. really impressed with these kids that they actually were like, can we go back in and walk around and swim with the sharks? I was like, wait, well, hold up. I thought you'd be like a prey, like, hey, let's stay out of the water. You guys actually wanted to go get in with the sharks. That was pretty cool. Right now, we wanted to show you guys this dope sunset. Insane sunset going on back there. The sun is dipping into the ocean yet again, right between these palm trees down there. As we are at the taco stand, we're told it's the place to be in La Jolla. If you want tacos. Dan and Chelsea, best tacos in the world. So that's why we're grabbing some of those right now. Okay guys, we have been told that the taco stand is the place to be, and judging by the line that has not quit since we've been here, I tend to agree. We've got some carne asada tacos coming out, giant burritos. We've got elotes like I have never seen before. We got some chips, nachos. Look at how stuffed that is with carne asada. That is so much beef in there. Maddie here, she just finished up her homecoming address. The reason we all came out here, here we go. <laughs> Good night, Fizzle, get it together. <laughs> she just finished up her farewell address, you guys, and it was incredible. It's the reason she we all came here is to hear. Fantastic. Thank you. Guys, a lot of times, like people, when they give their farewell address, can just kind of tell they're young, they don't know what to expect, they don't know what's out there, and then they come back and they give these amazing homecoming addresses because they're just filled with like energy and they're mature. I would have thought that was She's a homecoming starting talk. That way. Hitting the field already like that you guys I think everybody was shocked at her not only her speaking ability her maturity the strong spirit yes. that she carries with her we're not surprised but we were very very impressed <laughs> yes you guys I Thank posted you. about this on our stories in all we were of her also put a link on there if you guys have any questions about the mission she's serving any information about the church and what we believe in she spoke on how she has really gained a testimony over her entire life you have questions about that little bits along the way through her whole yes. life it was so fun to hear you guys and this is what like I said what we came for now the next part of this is she will be officially set apart as a missionary tonight yes. and her mission begins that moment like tomorrow's her first day officially in home yeah. MTC but as soon as she set apart she is sister Bingham she or hermana Bingham yeah. I have to follow all the missionary guidelines <laughs> but because they are doing home MTC we have the privilege of being able to see her tomorrow in her home MTC so this is not goodbye yet don't flip out guys this isn't no. the big one but That's tomorrow, gonna be tomorrow is, is but tomorrow to is out. so before you watch tomorrow's <laughs> vlog make sure you grab a box of tissues be on standby with the emotions because we've been yeah. saying goodbye for 18 months to this one but not yet we're just saying goodbye to you guys right now yes yeah. thanks for hanging with us we We've had a really fun week here in California. It's beautiful, but tomorrow, make sure you do come back. And after that, you guys, we're heading home to a lot of craziness. As always, we love you guys so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hello and good morning, everyone. Guys, good cold freezing morning in San Diego. I know, we're starting out the day in sweatshirts, which we haven't done yet, but it's kind of chilly today. It's very chilly, cloud cover, and where would you go in San Diego on the coldest day of your vacation? To the beach. To the beach. The kids desperately want to get in the ocean. They just want to run from the waves, play in the water. So you said, you know what? I know. It's your world, it's your vacation. We're going to do that. Now, the plan was all along, you guys know how much we love this particular okay. acai bowl place in Mission Beach. It's called Juice Wave. We had planned this entire trip. And Monday morning, grab an acai bowl at Juice Wave. 
play there at the beach, maybe ride the roller coaster oh, there at Mission Beach. Guys. They're closed for renovations until October 27th. <laughs> still want to get an acai bowl. Still need to eat some breakfast. Our next favorite place is Everbowl. Love it back home in Utah. They've got a ton of them here in yes. Southern California. So we're going to hit up some Everbowl or an acai bowl to start the day and then go to probably the closest beach that they have. We're in Carlsbad, so probably the Carlsbad State Beach. Let the kids play in the waves for as long as they can handle it. Mom and I are going to sit. five minutes. <laughs> we're going to sit under blankets next to a fire on the sand. Then we don't know what the rest of the day holds, but we do know that we'll be visiting Maddie in the MTC. I realize I don't think sum up a lot of thoughts I had at the end of yesterday's vlog. First of all, kind of suddenly abruptly go from eating tacos in La Jolla to Maddie's farewell. Reason being, we thought that that was going to be the last day we were going to see her, and so we had planned to kind of double down a Saturday Sunday duo vlog. When we realized we'd get to see her again today, we thought, well, let's just say goodbye to the end of this vlog, but we will get to see her again. So today is going to be the final farewell. So that's what we're going to be doing today is going to see Maddie. And I also realized, I don't think we've ever said what MTC stands for. It's the Missionary Training Center. Missionary Training Centers all over the world. It's supposed to go to the Mexico <laughs> MTC. However, they are just doing in her home from the Mexico MTC. So she's on Mexico time. She's getting all of her instruction from that MTC just over Zoom at home. Kind of cool, guys. When she logs in and joins her classes in progress at the Missionary Training Center, it's in Mexico. So today is day one of her time in the Missionary Training Center. So, so she exciting. is currently in class right now. And so when she is done and has a break in between her sessions, we're going to go and visit her at the MTC, which is her home, which is a very rare, cool thing because normally you couldn't visit them. Once you get dropped off at the Missionary Training Center, you don't see your family again for a couple of years. We get to go visit her in her in-home MTC today. So that's going to be a very special, rare, and unique occasion. But first, breakfast, the Everbowl. We hit the, the beach. the beautiful sun of San Bask Diego. in the sun. <laughs> here at Everbowl with Dan and Shell. Doesn't get better than acai bowls with family. But we've got Bong, got a Coco Love mixed with acai. Classic favorite, bananas, strawberries. And I'm trying for the first time ever, goji berries. I wish he would try the snot in it. It's called It's not gonna pudding. have any of that. Chia pudding snot? No, thank you. She loves it though. And she loves it specifically for the texture, which is the thing that turns me off to I it. I like tapioca pudding but I don't think it's kind of like that. But dried pineapple before. That looks like it's new to you, or is that? I do that every time. Oh, well, nice to know you. You don't even know me right nice now. Nice to meet you. We should have a family together. <laughs> change of plans. Instead of going to the beach first because it is so cloudy and cold, we thought, let's knock out some fun shopping right now. Yeah, the sun's going to come out in a few hours, so we figured we'd knock that out first. Oh, guys, it's a walk anywhere you want to walk, walk. walk. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, walk. taco stand right there. There's already a line. Oh, the ta already right a line? Guys, I would wait in line all day for a taco it's at the taco right stand. There. These guys can walk anywhere they want in this crosswalk. It's a diagonal crosswalk, so you can go <laughs> anywhere. We had a lot of fun here last night. We actually ate just over here last night. Saw some fun shops we wanted to come back and shop at. We decided that we're going to shop first, and that way the sun can come out, get a little bit warmer, then we'll head over to the beach, and then that way the kids don't have to do shopping while they're wet, sandy, and cold. You know, the sand in the pants really is just a problem. <laughs> it's like having sand in the pants, it's miserable. <laughs> We have finished up our shopping for the day. I think we found a little something for everybody. Some fun sous some fun clothing like that. So we're taking a little walk over to D Street here at Moonlight Beach. Guys, it's pretty cold. The wind is whipping. The kids still want to get in that water. It's freezing. I feel it's, like I'm at home in the snow. <laughs> seriously, this is not beach or ocean swimming weather, but the kids want in, so we're going to let them do it. But I think we may head to Mission Beach because that's the plan we had originally today anyway. There's some fun other scenery to be seen there, but we had to walk out here to this really cool, pretty cool, like wood walkway down to the beach. This is the Moonlight Beach. This is Maddie's Beach. This is where hung with her pretty much her entire life. This is the beach we come to. Woo! This is this such is, an amazing beach. Are you just like so hot? Cold. I mean, it's so heat. cold. It's Woo! so cold, you guys. Alright guys, we have arrived at Mission Beach. Woo! It is bright, sunny, gorgeous weather. It's awesome. I could oh, fool you because the sun is out, but it is so cold. It is windy. Let's go. Ah, Let's go. The kids Let's go. could not care less. They are so pumped to be here, and I love it. I love that. When you're a kid, you just don't care. You don't let things get to you. You don't let the elements get you down. You don't find excuses to not have fun. No. You just have fun. Throw so, those away. Just do whatever. You know? Yeah. Kids want to go play in these waves out here. Woo. They're going to go full send. Mom and I are going to huddle up by the campfire over here. Uh, it is very big. And I can't right wait now. to see when their feet hit that freezing ocean water, but they literally could not care less. They're ready to have some fun. Woo. You guys ready to go get out on the water? Let's go.
my gosh, they are such animals. It is frigid right now, you guys. I am so impressed. Oh my gosh. Yes! Yes! Woo! That's how you bingo, baby! I have no voice. Ah! You are a boss. Ryler jumped in all the way, dude. You guys are all soaking wet. How was that? So good! Frostbite. I love you, dude. All they want to do is play in the ocean. Might have been a lifetime ago, but I distinctly remember being this age and this enthused to get out into the water and into the waves, no matter the circumstances. I remember going on vacations with my family and I'm sure my parents had no desire to get in the pool or the ocean based on either the time of day, how exhausted they were, how cold it was, but as a kid, you just don't care. And the kids are out here. My toes are numb just from standing in it. It is not a beach day. But the kids could not care less. And I knew that this would be the case. I knew that as soon as we got here, their smiles are bigger than they've been this entire time. They're giggling, screaming, having a fantastic time, letting the waves crash at their back, slash all over them, running from them, towards them, up and over them. That's what this is all about, you guys. Finding the things that they love the most, that they enjoy the most, that they have the most fun doing, and just letting them do it, regardless of the circumstances. It is cloudy. I don't even think it's getting into the 60s today. It was just raining. Stop stopping them from having a great time at the beach today. Okay, boys, we're about to go out oh. into the waves. Let's go, go! Oh. Woo! Look at these! <laughs> Sweetie, they know you have a cookie. They're all above you right now, Hazy. <laughs> <laughs> a lens swap here so I've got Daniel's lens on our camera it looks amazing and when the ocean water gets too cold you can always have fun with the seagulls the kids are chasing them down everywhere oh, they finally got them all scared off so then they grabbed a quick snack right they went running what was in your hand a cookie or what oh, yeah a cookie he went running with a cookie and hundreds of them are yeah. coming after him he freaks out just throws it up in the air I was so scared <laughs> they're was... all chasing me and then they're coming from everywhere now guys it's like a scene out of a Halloween movie with just seagulls everywhere here
the day of goodbyes today. I started off saying goodbye to Mana and Papa. They yeah, already head home. On. They drove away. Now it's time to say goodbye to Dan and Shell. We gotta catch a flight. They're Thank headed you out. So much yeah. for coming. But how yeah, incredible absolutely. are they for coming out here and being part of this, coming to visit Maddie? I can tell you guys, you have been a huge impact in Maddie's life for good. You've been a major positive impact on her. I think she's I a better her. person because of you guys. Your involvement in her life. So thank you guys for coming. Thank absolutely. you. We would not have missed it. We absolutely love her to death. She she's loves you equally. You guys are amazing. You have to go. They're gonna head to the airport. We've gotta go because we're gonna meet up with Maddie to give one last final farewell and goodbye. I'm and that's so excited. Tonight. <laughs> tonight. So it we're gonna go have to see you My goodness, it is three. Three goodbyes in one day, you guys. Right now, invited to the show. We love you guys. Love you. Check them out. Thank Instagram, you. YouTube, everything. Mostly Instagram. Get them over 50,000 followers because <laughs> that would be super rad and super awesome. So we love them. They're the best. And we'll see you guys back home. See ya. Bye. Guys, this is the rare sighting of an Hermana in her natural habitat, the Missionary Training Center. Should I say look out your window? Yeah, text her that, see what she knows. I think she might be in class though, she keeps looking at her computer. Hermana! Hermana! What the? It's a real life Hermana! Hola! Hola! Bienvenidos a los CCMA. CCMA? MTC. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's like a princess up there in your tower. Yes, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair and let's go to dinner. Okay. I am here right now with Hermana Bingham on her Hola. first day at the MTC. How was it? It was great. Pretty good? Yeah, it's been a long day. I'm kind of like, my brain's kind of scrambled. It's a really good day. We were asking her about the <laughs> highs and lows of today, the things that she loved the most. I got the impression that she's very, very tired. I feel like you are exhausted. That is a long day of <laughs> studying. She told us out of the gates, 100% Spanish. Just speaking Spanish yeah. right away. They are teaching her in Spanish. They are giving the instructions in Spanish. En Espanol, if you will. Sí. And she is responding in <laughs> Spanish so that is a lot for a full day to it's good practice think act speak outside of your natural language True. to be learning all these new things taking in all these new concepts but on top of that in a different language entirely I imagine you're pretty worn down it is a lot and I had to wake up at 6 a.m. that doesn't help she's been going until now as you can see it's dark out it is about <laughs> 7 o'clock at night and so she's been going all day today first yeah. day of permission though you're but literally a sister yeah oh, yes yeah, it's great it's, it's, like, it's a good exhausted it's like yeah, a yeah, yeah. worthwhile tired for sure my voice is still gone hang on <clears throat> hoping we'll come back eventually we thought it'd be kind of fun on her first day on her mission, first day of her MTC, to go out to dinner together because she can do that as long as we're with her at all times. She has to have a companion with her, so we are her companions tonight. Mm -hmm. And so we thought we would take her to a fun pizza joint that actually is the pizza place that we went to after she was baptized. So the day she was baptized, we all went out as a family to eat pizza at Lucadia Pizzeria. And we're like, well, how funny would that be if we went back there again tonight on the first day of your mission? Yeah. Kind of serendipitous, kind of fun. Also, they have really good garlic bread. I think that's well, what we're gonna sure. do tonight. And then that's gonna be before we give the goodbye to Maddie. Once oh, drop her off the house. I did not even think about yeah, that. Yeah, don't think about that. Don't. Okay, Let's just yeah. enjoy some pizza. <laughs> Yeah. When she was eight and she got baptized, this is where we sat. We were on the outside part right here. No way. I'm Mom is not me. leaving her side. She is the companion. She cannot ever be alone on a mission. Do you know how to say I love pizza in Spanish? Pizza. <laughs> Learning all the Spanish. We just finished up dinner and we are going to right now take pictures, individual pictures with Maddie before she leaves with each kid. Maddie's got to stand up right, Cruz's got to stand up right, then we're going to see how much they grow while she's gone because she's been gone for 18 months, a year and a half. Crew could pass her up potentially before she gets back, we don't know. But that's what, <laughs> she could. Okay. But we're gonna do it with each kid to see how much they grow while she's gone. Then when we get back, we'll do the same picture. Which means we gotta come back here, come to get pizza again. Cheese. No tiptoes. Hazy to tiptoes. That's a cheat. That's a cheat. <laughs> We've been standing out here on the curb. Everyone's giving Maddie seven, eight, nine hugs. We've been out here past her curfew, I think. Oh no, what time is it? <laughs> no, I think you're good, I think you're good. We're good, we're good. <laughs> Progressively, the kid's each getting more emotional with each hug. Maddie's doing a pretty good job holding it together. I, no, she's not. It's yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good right now, but when I'm hugging them, it's, yeah. it's rough. This is a big deal, because the kids won't see her for 18 months. None of us will, but I mean, the kids will have gone through a lot in their lives. They will have grown up a lot. Maddie will have grown a lot. So by the time they see her again, she's going to be a totally changed and different person. They're going to be completely different people. 
well, I think they're all going to be better because of Are you trying of the... to make me cry no. again? Or... <laughs> no. <laughs> but I think everyone will be in a better place because of the work that you're putting in. So we are I very grateful so. for you setting that example for them. I love you guys. I'm not going to be on the vlogs for 18 months. That's but crazy. Hopefully you'll get some updates from yes. me. Any chance we get that she sends us stuff like in an email or if we yeah. get some fun pictures, we'll try and include those as much as we can so you guys can see what yeah. she's up to. But you really won't hear or see from her for another 18 months here yeah. in the vlogs. So. Yeah, but keep watching the vlogs, guys. I know it'll be rough when I'm not in them. <laughs> Just kidding. Hang in there for 18 more months, guys, <laughs> and you'll not. get Maddie yeah. back. I promise we will help pass <laughs> the time until then. Please. Don't unsubscribe, please. I know she's leaving, but stay part of the family. Jokes, jokes. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> Sorry, it's I'm gonna cry. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. They're making me shake. are you sad? I'm feeling it now. <laughs> no! May I come to pizza? Yeah. Okay. When I get back from my mission, I'm gonna quiz you, okay? Okay. We have gathered ourselves a little bit here. It took a minute. It's really sweet. I think the people who were hit the most were Ryler and Brex. Like, yes. I did not expect that. In fact, there was a really tender moment last night when Maddie was officially set apart as a missionary. We went around the room, we all said something that we love about Maddie and what we're gonna miss about her, something that we think is great about her. And cute Ragai didn't want to do it. I thought he just was shy or nervous, but it's because he knew he was full of emotions. So as soon as he started in, he just immediately broke into tears. Maddie broke into tears. And it was this it was really tender, sweet. tender brother-sister moment. And then again tonight, is it going on doing the hugs where I guys kind of standing off at the side at the back of the excursion just kind of waiting for his hug before he even got to his hug I just saw him wiping his eyes crying and then he hugged Maddie they immediately just started bawling and I just love the relationship that these guys have together it's really sweet I feel like this weekend has been a ton of those parenting wins that you get to see guys just go get milk and yeah. cookies I'm here it's been really fun. It's been like those paydays for parents where you see your kids come together, love each other, make memories, and the bonds that they create so important to us. And I feel like we've just had so many paydays this weekend. She's going to be gone for 18 months now. She's headed off to her home MTC. Yes. She'll leave for the Dominican Republic in six weeks, so it's a while before she actually leaves the United States. So we'll continue to keep tabs on her and what she's up to and do as much as we can here in the vlog. Any prayers you can send her way. This is a big thing for her. This is a big journey for her, so I'm sure she would appreciate it. Thank you for hanging with us on this trip we had so much fun here in california so much fun getting to spend time with maddie say goodbye to her so make sure you come back tomorrow we love you we'll see you all tomorrow good night everybody Bye. Bye. Hello and good morning everyone! Guys, good morning. We are here. It is now sunny San Diego. Yesterday was not that sunny. Of course, the one day we <laughs> went to the beach. We are excited for the sun because we are heading home to very cold, it's rainy, snowing awful at home. Temperatures. It has snowed while we've been gone. That is okay. We are ready for some fall weather. It's been yes. very beautiful, very nice here. We have packed up the car, loaded out of the hotel. We're headed to the airport. We are heading home today after a beautiful full week here in San Diego, culminating in the sad, sad goodbye to Maddie last night. You are shaking. <laughs> Sorry, I, <laughs> I love you. I love you. That was just such a rare experience watching the kids just come together and love each other, share these emotions and feelings. It was really cool and really special for our family. As much as we're going to miss Maddie, we know that she is doing amazing things and we're so excited for her. I think the great piece for me, or the piece of peace, if you will, is that she's still at her home. She is doing yes. the missionary training at home in her own bedroom. So she's at home. She's in a great place. She's well taken care of, well looked after. And then in six weeks, she'll be heading to the Dominican Republic, you guys. So we'll have to maybe try and sneak in a goodbye to her before. 
before she leaves. We'll see. If you guys want to head on over to our Instagram at this is Howie Bingham. There have been a lot of questions asked. We answered some of those on our stories. So if you want to head on over there, any questions you might have had, maybe answered over there. We're so grateful for her example to the other kids. Car's We're getting ready full. to go. We gotta head to the airport, drop off the car. We are flying home today. It's a reasonable hour, middle of the day kind yeah, of deal. This getting is home great. before dinner. It's gonna be a perfect flight situation, very quick flight home. The kids are stoked to be back on their own beds. I've heard that multiple oh, times. I'm glad. I of course have been missing the silverback VR, all of the things that I love most oh about home. Mom's been missing the soda shops. We're ready to head back I... to Utah. And speaking of home at home in Utah, we are continuing the construction and building of our home. <laughs> at home. I think that we have like cement footings being poured. I don't really know much about home building, but that is all happening like right when we get back because yes, they paused been waiting it for, us. for our so vacation. Awesome. Now we're headed back. We have arrived at the San Diego airport, just getting checked in, dropping off our bags, headed to the gate with plenty of time, maybe even Heck some time yeah. to grab something to eat, Mom. I think we're probably gonna want lunch before we head out. I think so. We had an early breakfast. Boarding the plane, headed home on our way to 40 degree weather. Just saw the board say, out there. 40 I'm degrees. Enjoy the warmth right now because it's. That's why we chilling. got the hoodies on because we knew we were stepping out into snow. But what I didn't realize is that the flip flops probably not oh, the perfect your, choice of shoe. Your little toesies <laughs> might be cold. Utah and guys for 40 something degrees it's not that bad I think it feels kind of nice it actually doesn't feel that bad but then I want hot chocolate I think Very it has fun. a nice fall vibe but I do think we all have voted we want to go get hot chocolate first order of business it's a gorgeous sunset here through the clouds it's coming through like rays of sunshine you guys there is snow on top of every single mountain here though it's winter all of the mountains are snow capped you guys we're anxious to go home see how much we've got in our own backyard in the mountains there load up the van getting in the car probably gonna grab some hot chocolate on the way home get home unload unpack and get ready to get back to life you guys Mom, already upstairs unpacking? What's going on here? You guys, I decided to bring a couple of the suitcases up and just start the unpacking. I'm going through things. I've already started laundry. I've already got things Now you going. did some before we left, right? I saw. I well, thought I saw you running some loads. I just did one load because I underpacked on this trip, which I don't typically do. I usually overpack, but I did not do that this trip. So I had to wash the kids' long pants that they wore to California to oh, wear home. So that was like out of necessity. That wasn't really like that pre-laundry that you like to no, do. So when you get home, I it kind of alleviates that, some of the laundry. The time just didn't 
didn't allow it and I didn't want to stress over it. I just did two of our full gigantic suitcases, strictly dirty clothes. So <laughs> oh. that's a little present Welcome home, for me. mom. You know what's crazy? Ryler didn't wear these shorts or these ones. It is definitely time to put all summer clothes like, oh, guys. away, away. We There's drove like up no to snow-covered mountains, 40 degrees as the high. It is full fall, feeling a little is, crispy for fall. It is full fall. Yes, I think the high for the next 10 days is 65 degrees. 65 would be pretty perfect. That's that would be good. a great fall temperature. Thank you, by the way, for getting my suit out. I often yes, forget I that and say fold it up. things that like, I grabbed the suits and hung those quickly so that they didn't get all wrinkly and gross. Cannot forget, mom smuggled these away. We found these while we were out there. They're nerds, but they're candy corn. So yes. it's the texture and like chewiness or whatever of a candy so corn. So they have a shell on them. This one is a strawberry shell with grape strawberry inside. They're quite good, you guys. Now, are but they nerd they're cluster hard good? To find. No. no. I'm going to say no, not even close. But they're, they're fun. They're, tar they're tart. I don't like tart candy. Yeah, they are. Pack a punch. I did bring these home. Getting everything starting to put away. I feel like I've got a good grip on things, especially for being the first night coming home. And I'll tell you, coming home at four in the afternoon was a hundred times better than coming home at like nine or ten because I feel yeah. like we've done that recently. A lot of times we roll in and it's just dark out. It's like straight to bed. The kids are actually downstairs eating something right now. They'll get ready for bed, take yeah. a shower. We've got time to get them into bed at a decent hour. Feels good to just come home and be somewhat on top of things. <laughs> We are back home in the house, in our house, it and feels, it feels good. It feels so good to be home. You love being home. Kids are upstairs bathing, showering, getting ready for a school week and a new semester, you guys. The fall semester, is that the fall semester that ended or whatever? Uh, it's the first term that ended. First term. Ryler crushed it, as you guys know. Hit the straight A's. He's super jacked about that. They're ready to hit the ground running into their next semester here that will close out this year. They are so anxious to get home. I think this is the first trip I've ever seen them anxious to get home. I think they just want to get back to school. Back they love to it. like the life and routine. Yep. I think that kids crave that. Summer is so fun. We got into a great routine and now getting out of it they're like i want to get back home i want to go back to school it's nice for them they're already like up shower and getting ready for tomorrow also talk to our home builder on the way home it rained all day today there was some was stuff that was going to really be going down bad. with the footings and stuff tomorrow it's now being moved to a meeting on thursday on site so that's going to be coming up very soon we want to let that dry out a little bit stuff happened while we were gone to dig a little bit deeper on one side yeah. so we'll bring you the latest and greatest on the house as we know it as we get back we were anxious to get back to life and i'm anxious to go to bed in my own bed it's i know be we had a king size bed it was not my no bed like home. No place like home. No bed like home. We love you. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for traveling with us all week and today. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. I missed it. I missed it again. Good job.